Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at these photos right here. American kicks off new MHT route to O'Hare. Manchester, Boston Regional Airport and American Airlines celebrated on Thursday as the first ever American Airlines flight from Manchester to Chicago O'Hare took flight. Passengers, American Airlines officials, and local dignitaries gathered at the flight's boarding gate for a series of proclamations followed by cake and Chicago deep dish pizza. Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig praised Kitchens and his staff for their community outreach towards his expanded service at the airport. Congressman Chris Pappas, Democrat of Manchester, also praised the new route, adding that as a member of the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure that he is working on logistics to provide additional infrastructure spending to airports, including Manchester Boston Regional Airport. The new route will facilitate a variety of new destinations for American Airlines, New Hampshire-based passengers ranging from domestic locals to international ones serviced by American Airlines' partnership with foreign carriers operating out of Chicago. Southwest already provides flights to Chicago Midway Airport, but American Airlines District's sale manager for New England, Paul Swartz, says he decided to provide this new route, hanging not on competition, but on the desire to serve New England and provide additional reach for local passengers through Americans for hub airports. John Torrent of Bedford was one of the passengers on the inaugural flights as his son Samuel participated in the National History B in Chicago. Trent made trips to Chicago in the past, but always through Midway. He looks forward to the added convenience that O'Hare provides since the History B is taking place in a hotel near O'Hare. Without Thursday's flight, his choices were limited to going through Midway, finding a connecting flight with another airline in Manchester or heading to another airport that provides direct service to O'Hare. Tickets for the inaugural flight became available for sale on December 17th. After today, two flights a day will be offered on route with 65 seats available on each flight. Very cool indeed. That is good news there. And that's it for my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday, Sunday afternoon, everyone. See you back here later on today for another news report. Bye, everyone.